can also do a couple takes if you want. Sure, whatever you want. Okay. So, Jason, good morning, man. Good morning, Tam. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm so glad that you had your first bot client. Congratulations. I'm going to give you a, a, a virtual high five. Ugh. So everyone is like clamoring, like, Jason, like, what's the story here? Uh, and I would love for you to share, like, you know, how'd you got your first client? Um, you know, wh 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 how did you pitch it to them? What did they think of bots in the first place? Uh, I would love to know, like, everything about it. Okay. So the truth is nobody knows anything about bots right now, right? I mean, <laughs> beyond us in Silicon Valley, if you talk to the average person, maybe be they've seen something about bots on fa on Facebook, but they don't actually understand what the concept is, how it's useful for them, or how it might help them. Mm -hmm. And so what I started doing was I reached out to my personal network, you know, first degree friends. And I started saying, okay, who do I know that has a small business or is working with a small business and could actually use some growth? Mm -hmm. um, well, everyone can use growth, but who might be able to be a decent fit for a technology, um, you know, an implementation of technology. And so I talked to my friend and he, and I, he said, you know, I'm starting up this online San Francisco political newspaper called the Bay City Beacon. And what we have are these tremendous spikes in traffic when we send out our once a week emails, when we put out a rush of three different uh, papers or three different articles and they get linked to by other sites and but you know some days we'll have multiple thousands and some days we'll have tens and so what we really want to do is we really want to steady out the traffic so advertisers find this more lucrative right and so I said to him well one thing you could do is I've been working with this technology that gets super high open rates, way higher than email. You know, it's in the 40, 50, 60% range. Yeah. And if they open it, they'll re they can see the articles. You can lead them through educational paths of teaching them about housing in the city or teaching them about various issues and going in depth over mo multiple articles. And you can have a more educated um, reader base and a higher <clears throat> daily reader base, right? And so I said, am I looking at the right camera? <laughs> Um, okay, cool. And, and so he said, all right, let's try it. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to experiment. So, wow. yeah, no, it, I mean, it wasn't, he's willing to try a lot of things. And that's one nice thing about working with someone that's just um, starting out, you know, someone in the first year of their business, they're willing to throw a lot of things against the wall in terms of marketing experiments Got to it. land that, uh, to steady out their re readership yeah. or in this case your customer base that, that's yeah. awesome because most people would think wow 60 percent open rates like that's that's unheard of that that's kind of crazy i would never even like you, you're trying to sell me on some get rich quick scheme or whatever it is an insane number right and it'll be helpful once i have this first client showing these open rates or at least being able to refer to some of these open rates and saying hey this is our client and this is what they're seeing now yeah. um this is real so once I have it, I'm going to be, it makes my life of selling a lot easier. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So the next thing they talked to me about was price. And I said, well, you know, I've been, as I go through the spot course and I told them, you know, I'm going through a course right now on implementation and making things work so I can uh, best put it together for the client. And he said, they're charging like a thousand dollars a month plus five to 10,000. I said, but I would not charge well, A, a close friend, anything like that, and B, a first client who, doesn't, who hasn't seen a track record, right? He's, I said, what can you afford and what do you think uh, is reasonable? And he said, how about 100? And we'll go from there. <laughs> 100 a month. <laughs> nice. I said, you know what? I'm okay with that. Don't tell anyone else. Don't tell anyone outside of this course. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's awesome. Um, and I, I, I think I told you earlier in the call, like, a um, hundred dollars, like it's much better than, you know, zero, one client yes. is better than zero clients. So you're on the right path. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy for you. I, I hope, I don't know. You got like the most likes in the Facebook group that I've seen. Like we got all, <laughs> we're all supporting each other and I'm really happy for you. Yeah, no, this is fantastic. This is great. I can feel 
like, okay, in two months, can I get to four clients, five clients, six clients, and can I charge them rate, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly, and, that much. And, uh, you know, a lot of clients, more money, and we, we, don't have, we, have, we haven't got to the module four yet for sales, so you're awesome. Is, is there anything else that you want to say before, before we leave to the group who's watching this? Oh, God, <laughs> you know, start with your friends, start with your close network. I think there's actually a good place to try this out, which is every city has like a business networking international or some form of networking group, figure out a pitch. Maybe we can all figure one out together where we go in and we say, module hey, four, module four. <laughs> yeah, module four. Okay. I won't talk about it then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But maybe we can just reach out closely then, and then we can go to module four and blow it out. <laughs> Definitely. All right, Jason, thank you so much. All right, catch you later, Tam.